I pay a visit to the St. Augustine Gator Farm to talk with two leading gator biologists, Drs. Adam Rosenblatt and James Knight. The alligator is the definition of a sit and wait predator, right? So it's perfectly adapted for conserving its energy long periods of time, waiting for that perfect moment when prey's in range, and then with an explosive burst of energy, they can really grab it. Hearing about gators only goes so far for me, so we nab one to get a closer look. So here we can see our typical gator, and uh, the first and obvious thing is the profile of the head, right? That's really flat, very vertically aligned. When it's sitting in the water, we see the eyes are above the water and the nose is above the water. It's a little bit upturned at the end here. Right. We got the ears, which are over here. You can lift these little flaps up. This flap is for protection, but they can right. still hear very well. We can also see the integumentary sense organs, all these raised black dots all along the upper jaw. They come all the way around. These are just basically um, areas of the skin that have specialized nerve cells that allow them to to have extra sensitive uh, feeling of the water around them, so right? Like, so they can sense vibrations. It'd be like a lateral line on a, on a fish. Yeah, same, same idea. Okay. Same type of cells. Same right. idea. So they're, so they're hair, hair cells, just like we have in our ears yeah. to sense vibration. They have them in their skin. And so when they're sitting in the water, you know, they're sitting there with this part right at the water line. So if yeah. they're sitting close to the edge and some mammal comes and, you know, takes a step in the water, it's gonna yeah. feel that ripple and it can strike in an instant. You know, a lot of animals, when they get hungry, they essentially get more aggressive after their prey. Whereas an alligator would do the exact opposite. He would just be more patient, <laughs> which yeah. is completely yep. counterintuitive to the way I think of hunting. When I think of going out and chasing something down, you get more aggressive instead of sitting longer, waiting longer, moving slower, being more patient, because that's how they're the most effective. Yeah. I think I've got a lot to learn from alligators. I'm pretty high strung, so I think if I can take that into hunting and other areas of my life, just maybe chill out a little more, <laughs> I'll be better off.